Do you have trouble making a business introduction? Are they a little bit too simple? Maybe something like this. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm an English teacher and I work for Forest Life English. It's nice to meet you. Well, it's not bad. It's fine, isn't it? He greeted the audience. He gave his name, uh, his company. Uh, he could give a little bit more information about his job, but just by adding ing. Uh, let's try it again. I'm an English teacher helping people to develop their English skills in Japan. Okay, so that's not bad, is it? That might actually be fine for you if you want to make a quick, simple introduction, but we can do better. And today I'm going to show you what I believe is the best introduction. But how do we make the best introduction? What do people love? They love stories. And what are stories? Stories are movement through time, aren't they? They have a beginning, a middle, and an end. That might sound a little bit difficult. How am I going to make a story about my job, about my career? Well, if you know the grammar structures for the past, the present, and the future, it's not going to be that difficult. Step one, let's get the basics out of the way. Greet the audience, say our name, and say what our job is. But this can be done really easily. We don't need to make this difficult at all. It's enough to say, hi everyone, I'm Alex, I'm an English teacher. Now, you might want to be a bit more formal, so instead of hi, you can use hello, you could use good morning, good afternoon, good evening. In the past, we need to do two things. First, talk about your overall experience, and number two, talk about an achievement. To do that, we need to use have been doing and have done. We can also add ing to the end of have done to add even more detail. Let's take a look at my example. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Alex and I'm an English teacher. I've been teaching in Japan since 2000 and I've provided English language support to many household name companies, helping them improve their communication with subsidiaries, suppliers, and of course, their customers. So these two points give a great overview to the audience of who you are. In the present, we can do another two steps. This time, talk about the company you work for, the department you work in, what you do. And secondly, talk about what you're working on at the moment. What is your current focus, your current project? Again, let's take a look at my example. I work for several companies as a freelancer and I'm currently teaching an intensive transferee program which helps people who are being relocated overseas. I'm a freelancer, so I don't talk about the company I work for specifically or a department that I work in. If you do want to do that, then just use the for in style. You say, I work for ASM Corporation in the design department. That's it. Okay, we've done the past, we've done the present, let's get into the future. There are many ways to talk about the future. I'm going to use, I plan to do something. You might want to use, I'm going to do something, I will do something. You don't need to stick to the grammar specifically, but try and follow the time flow. Be logical in the way that you're speaking. After talking about that past point, talk about something that you believe in. Now, in my case, it's quite simple. I'm going to talk about what I think lessons should be. But what I do is use a simple but very effective technique, which is called tripling. Try and find one, two, three points to communicate to your audience. Again, let's take a look. I plan to expand my business through social media such as YouTube, where I can reach a much wider audience. And I believe that learning English should be fun, it should be practical, and of course, it should be meaningful. We're nearly at the end. We've given a basic introduction. We've talked about our past. We've talked about our present. We've talked about the future plus a belief. All we need to do now is to make an offer to the audience by using if. What can we do for the audience? Let's see what I can do. If you want to improve your English language skills or your communication skills, I'd be delighted to help you. It's nice to meet everyone. Thank you. I finished on a simple, it's nice to meet everyone, and a thank you. Another great way to finish is using I'm looking forward to. For example, I'm looking forward to working with you all. The key point is 
that time movement, that story about where you've come from, where you are and where you hope to go in the future, plus a belief and a triple and an offer. Put all these things together, you can make the best business introduction for you. You'll find a couple of other examples in the description below. Take a look at them. They might give you some other ideas. They follow the same kind of structure. While you're down there, please hit the like button if you can. And if you need any help, if you want me to check any sentences, please write them in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you make your best business introduction.